In this video, I will show you how to export an oblique view of your map. Just like we did for the map, we can use layout view to export oblique, almost 3D views of our map. Navigate to the local scene view. Then rotate your map until you get the view that you're looking for. Here, I will use the built-in world hillshade layer to show some of the other surrounding volcanic vents. This is looking pretty good, but I'm going to add some vertical exaggeration just to emphasize the surrounding topography. To do this, highlight the ground surface layer, then click elevation surface layer up top. I will specify a 1.5 times vertical exaggeration. Once you have arranged your view angle the way you like it, navigate to the Insert tab, then click New Layout. Select your paper size, then navigate to the Insert tab within the Layout view. Click to add a map frame, and this time instead of map, we will select the Scene icon. Click, hold, and drag to draw the map frame. It may take a few seconds for the program to draw the scene. Once drawn, right-click to activate the map frame. Like before, you may have to spend some time recentering your scene view until you have it arranged how you like. When done, remember to click this icon to deactivate the map frame. As we did with the map and context figure, let's add a north arrow and scale bar to our image. Note how Arc automatically draws the north arrow at an oblique angle. If you like, you can also add some text to the figure here. To tidy up, I will be sure to rename this layout view as SP Oblique Map. When finished, navigate to the Share tab to export the final PDF. There you have it. These oblique views make good supplementary figures on any map sheet. In the final video, I will show you how to package and export all of your project files.